Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this is Islands. Well, the little entryway is looking pretty snazzy still. I think. I think. Uh, of course, though, as soon as you walk back here, um, it becomes clearly evident that there is much work to be done. So I think what I'm going to do is continue with this uh, floor as sort of a hallway. Uh, when I branch off into rooms, um, I may switch to a different type of floor, like I kind of talked about before, um, figuring things out. I was also thinking, um, instead of bringing all of the floor up to here, I may try different levels of uh, elevation just to see how it works out for me. I may dig this out actually a little bit and put stairs down uh, to where I can have a platform here and then have stairs down. Yeah, Let's come over and take a peek. Oops. Let's see if I can get down inside this hole uh, without stopping the backpack. There we go. Yeah, because see, this is a deep hole. This drops way down uh, almost into the main cavern. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to try to figure out how to do this one. I was thinking maybe a spiral staircase or something. I don't want to get it uh, too far down. Because I feel like... Um, that could even be an enemy on the surface or something, I don't know. Uh, I feel like if I build too close to the uh, rest of the creatures... There we go. It's possible that I could destroy their spawns. I don't know if that's how it works or not. But if it does work that way, I don't want to chance it. Now I'm not going to be able to find my way out. Watch, I'm going to be lost forever it up here somewhere yeah here it is so I may have to dig that out just so that I can find my way up but yeah that's kind of the plan uh, make sort of a hallway uh, through the middle here I don't think it's gonna be this wide as a matter of fact I could start a room right here um, I could also start a room right in here um, different rooms for different crafting um, what are they called? Workstations? So if we go in here and look at them again, uh, what have we got? We've got the cloth and stuff. I guess we could go out to the ship uh, to get a really good look at it. What time of day are we dealing with? It's pretty dark out. It might be trying to be uh, morning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. As a matter of fact, the sun is coming up right now. That's pretty good timing. Uh, but this will give me a better idea um, how to plan for the rooms that I'm about to do. I think the first couple of rooms are going to be basic materials. So that would be like the uh, smeltery, right? Smelting furnace, blacksmith, forge, uh, the kiln, and the foundry. I don't know if they'll all go in the same room. I might put the kiln in a different room. Um, but yeah, the smeltery and the blacksmith forge definitely go in the same room as the foundry. All of those go together. And then the these three, the spinning wheel, the weaving loom, and the tanning rack all go together. Uh, because it's all about cloth and clothes and leather and stuff like that. Um, so those are probably going to be the first two rooms that I do. And then we've got, of course, the alchemy bench will probably be in a room by itself. And I'll probably have a bunch of different planters there. Lots of light in that room. And uh, it'll be set up pretty interesting if it goes any way to plan how I have it in my head. Um, we could put the energy bench, the chemistry station, and the locksmith table all in the same room. That wouldn't bother me at all. Um... So we could minimize the number of rooms that we have. That's only about four rooms by now. And the kiln 
The kiln, I don't know about. We may shove it in the wall uh, where the forge and the smelter go. Um, but that's something I'll have to figure out in the future sometime. Then, of course, the charging station will go somewhere completely different. Um, we also need to have a uh, cooking, cooking room with the stove and all that kind of stuff in it, too. So that's about five rooms or so. Uh, not too bad. Then there are going to have to be more rooms. Like, there's going to have to be a garage once I start building vehicles and stuff like that. Um, hopefully, I can get away with building one vehicle and just testing, test driving it around the island and stuff, which should be okay. It's fairly flat up around the mountain range here um, in places. You know, there's easy trails to follow. We could even go up and around this area. If we went down the mountain right there, instead of being in the trees. Uh, is that a sheer cliff? No. We could go down around this way and out into the more desert island part of the island. Uh, then of course there's still this stone place over here. And um, I still haven't made a strength potion from the spinach that I've been growing either. Uh, that's one thing about the alchemist room. If I do make it, it's going to be jam-packed full of uh, herbs. Because, as we know, it takes several of each type of herb to make uh, a single potion. Which is kind of annoying, but I understand why they did it, because it was too easy before. It was way too easy. Uh, then, of course, we can explore different container types and stuff for different types of rooms um, to keep materials in. But yeah, like I say, I could already get started on a room over here, uh, which... Huh. I'll have to think about where I want which rooms. Because this one over on this side could easily be the cloth and stuff. Cloth and leather and all that. I feel like I need some kind of a pillar on this corner here. I'll get started building and I will bring you all back um, after I've made a little bit of progress and we can see uh, what I've decided between now and then. So yeah, see y'all shortly. Okay, here's the basic layout for the first room. I know I said I was gonna change up um, materials for certain rooms, but for this one I think it's fine. Um, this is gonna be the cloth and leather room. And so if we go in here, we can look up the spinning wheel so we need six poles, and then for the loom, uh, we need another six poles, so that's 12 total. And then the tanning rack is another six poles, so 18 total poles. Okay. So let's start with the spinning wheel then. Okay, and it looks it looks bigger than it is, she said. Um, so let's see. I haven't decided yet if I want to close it in or not. If I uh, close it in, I have to use a uh, a door and put it somewhere in here, but I don't think that's necessary. I think just having this wall here, um, I may do an archway over the top uh, where it's just a few blocks open where I can walk through, uh, but overall, I think it's going to be pretty much like this. And I might have built the wrong thing first. I might have built the wrong thing first, because I would like to have, um, planters? What are these called? Oh, pots. Flower pots. I wanted to have these big round ones, uh, for the agave things. Uh, likely one in each corner. Let's see how... Oh, they're tiny. They're absolutely tiny. So definitely one in each corner. Uh, yeah, at least one square away because these sisal agave plants are pretty sizable. Do we do like that or do we... Here, let's line them in the back like this first. Uh, seed packet. Sissel seeds. Okay. Uh, now it's difficult to get these planted properly because I want it to go right in the middle, right? See, that planted way back at the back. 
Uh, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's see. Okay, we don't get the seed back, clearly. It's still pretty far back, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks when it grows. I feel like both of those could be moved forward some, but in the long run, it's not going to matter. Um, okay, so now that I know kind of how these look, I could probably get some more clay and put some more of them in here. And if I did, it would probably be along that wall. Uh, yeah, so let's put the crafting stuff over kind of on this wall then. So, spinning wheel again. Construct. Okay. And once again, I don't like them to be perfectly square with the structure. And we'll move it around like this. Bam. And then the spinning wheel. Uh. We'll keep kind of over here. Kind of like this. Let me uh, see if there's... There's got to be a stool, right? So I want the round stool because um, if I'm sitting here working on the loom, uh, then I want to be able to turn and work on the spinning wheel from the same stool. See what I mean? It's not going to be possible in the game because you don't have to sit down to work on any of this stuff. Uh, but this is just... This is just for looks. To make it seem feasible. Something like this. Right, it's not clipping through anywhere. And if I set down, if I set down on the stool, <laughs> I'm not facing either piece. <laughs> oh, this is unacceptable. Okay, wooden stool, you're coming back. Um, it is where we want it though. I can only assume that this is going to be the proper direction. No. I turned it twice, uh, but it wants to turn around on me. Okay, it depends on where I'm facing then. Uh, but yeah, you can see here uh, generally what I was going for. So that's it. That's good. And then if I want more plants, I can put one like here and another one like here um, and then so the tanning rack will go somewhere around here yes perfect perfect I still can't get rid of this by the way um, I haven't tried, uh, I haven't made the strength potion, like I said earlier, and so I don't know if I'll be able to break it to get it out of the way, but for the time being, it is stuck there. Um, surprise, surprise. So, do I want another stool in front of this guy? I feel like I do, though. Not stone, stool. Uh, let's go with this guy, though. The square fella. Leave a little bit of room there. Yeah. I may even put a uh, fur rug down if I can get another bear at some point or other. Um, and then have different kinds of furs or trophies up on the walls over here. Uh, it sounds morbid, but 
never forget this is a video game. It's not real life. Um, I'm not a trophy hunter in real life. If I ever do hunt, it's always for food. Uh, but trophies look cool in video games, hanging on the walls. And so I would put some up here. Clearly I didn't have um, enough stone to make this ceiling piece all the way across right now. I do have enough stone, I just didn't have it in my inventory. Uh, so that's why it stopped right there. But I will finish off this roof with these tiles. And I did it correctly this time, believe it or not. So I was proud of myself. But yeah, so there is uh, this room. I got it started first mainly because of these plants. I want to see if they grow without the light. And um, yeah, when they grow, what will they look like inside here? Is it a good position or whatever? If not, then whenever I have that strength potion going, hopefully I'll have time to break down uh, these ceiling pieces and uh, these plant pots if I need to. So that's that. Uh, the blacksmith room is going to be going over here on this side, um, back in a little ways. Uh, yeah, the drill is pretty loud, so I don't like using it on camera, but I'm going to drill into this wall over here, uh, back a ways, and get started on the blacksmith room next. Like I say, I'm probably going to close this off partially, uh, leave an opening where I can walk through and um, yeah put more decorations on the inside of here to make it look a little bit nicer um, I'm gonna work on that and I'll bring y'all back after a little while I've only just finished uh, putting the roof tile up and already one of these Sisal Agave seedlings has grown hilariously it was the last one that I put down or next to last because this one was the last one I think Hilarious, but yeah, so they will grow in here. Uh, that's positive. Okay, we're gonna try to get the strength potion going. I finally went and picked the spinach, so we've got our five spinaches here. Our two magic dust, five and two, might result in something interesting. Ta da! We've created a potion of strength. Now, Ideally, that has gone straight into our potion holder, but it hasn't, uh, which is weird. It's fine, though, at the same time. I went ahead and planted some more spinach in the same place. Surprisingly, can't see them from up here. Yeah, there it is. So they are there. I'm probably going to have to come down and collect some more wood before I can finish up uh, furnishing the cloth uh, room. I realized after I had set it up and had started digging out the room for the uh, blacksmith stuff that I hadn't actually um, put any containers in there and so if I did craft anything up in that area I would just be stuck with uh, leaving it elsewhere uh, I even had to resort to using this chest for storage for some of my items and this one as well for a bunch of the stuff so that I could get it off of the floor and uh, out of my way. This is the one that's stuck that won't won't disappear and I've dug this area out um, as a start for the blacksmith area. I think it's probably going to end up having to be a little bit bigger, probably a little deeper that direction. Um, and over here I'm going to fill in the floor. I just had to dig it down so that I could use the uh, shovel to try to fill it in. It's a little finicky with where it does and doesn't want to work. Um, and as we explored before, it likes to have dirt in there instead of stone. And so I have to pile dirt in there before it will allow me to level it out. Um, but that's perfectly doable. I already have done it uh, for this entire area. Um, it was rock, but I filled it in with dirt and leveled it out. Okay, so, oh, and these Sisal Agave plants are grown. They only have two leaves right now. They can grow a maximum of three. And they're in pretty good location. I like them. The ones that are back a little bit, they're not too bad. They're still within the pot. Um, so it works perfectly. And I could easily fit two more in here uh, with plenty of space for uh, storage storage chests. I could even stack storage over on this side. Um, I could put a storage right in the middle here as well. Uh, just want to leave room for some kind of a rug or carpet or something like that. 
But okay, what we're here for is to remove uh, these ceiling tiles. Let's make sure and repair this. Okay, that should be about about it. Yeah, it's pristine now. And we have it in our hand. We need this first, though. You ready? Are you ready for, for this? Chug a lug. Bam. Okay, we have strength for a short time. So, let's start hammering. Okay, that was 14 hits. I feel like I must not be hitting the right thing. still pristine. I should be able to knock these things down. We just did it with the first one. There it goes. Unfortunately, our health potion has already run out, and so I don't know if this has retained the damage that we already did to it. Oh, seriously? Somehow going into third person and then back to first person, some weird reason it decided to target the cow statue, or cow poster, carpet, rug, and so it's destroyed now. Oh man. Okay, so I'm going to need at least one more potion, if not two, in order to take these three pieces out. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It seemed to have a hard time targeting what I was looking at the whole time. Uh, which is a big problem in this game. That happens uh, pretty often. Way more often than it should. But, uh, yeah. It is possible to break these things. I'm just going to need a lot more strength potions to do it. Um, we should have what we need now. Uh, oh, yeah. The cow carpet actually goes in here. I can't believe that it uh, took that down. I can kind of believe it, but at the same time, I wasn't looking anywhere near there. I was looking up at this thing the whole time. So it doesn't make sense, but it's back. No big deal. It's two cloth, so seriously, no big deal. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more. Oops. Uh, cotton plant, no. Sicil agave leaves, yes. Okay, and then I made a cat carpet, the best carpet. Oh, I feel like it's on top of the loom there for some reason. There we go. Kind of want it back behind like this. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, it might be a tad low. Uh, but it's okay. I feel like it's away from the wall, but it actually isn't. 
Uh, yeah, so we can see that these regrow pretty fast. I actually haven't been gone uh, away from the area very long. And these Sissel Agave are providing me with plenty, plenty of materials for uh, string. So I grabbed some uh, planks, we have some beams, we have some nails, uh, clay as well. Let's look into the containers. Uh, I think this wood cabinet is one that I want. Right here, or do I bring it out from the corner, I think? There we go, something more like this. Oh, it's only got 12 as well, I thought it had uh, 3 more here. I thought it had 15 total. Um, let's see, I know this one has at least 15, but it doesn't quite look right in this area, so I think I'm going to do this and then I'll have uh, a barrel or something over to the side, because that's a 3x3. Three three. Uh, what do we need, planks for this or do we need ingots? ingots? A pirate chest would be pretty good on the side there. Or even one of these uh, wooden chests, which I think is a 3x3 three three also, just like the barrel. Let's see, how does that fit right there? Pretty well. And it kind of looks like it blocks the, the door here, which I don't really like. Yeah, where it's still kind of lined up with that. Uh, we could even go one further and stack one on top if we wanted. Uh, let's see how it looks real quick. Yeah. No, I actually like that a lot, to be honest. Having two stacked up right there. So that'll be good. That'll uh, give me plenty of room for everything. Is this still ticking down? No, that's in place now. The only way I could uh, break it is with a hammer. So that's fine. And then, um, here we go flower pots. Yeah, it's just clay for those. I keep forgetting that you craft them and then place them. I always expect to uh, do construct in place. Okay. And then they were here, sisal seeds. Something like this, I believe. It's close. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, so now we'll have six plants. Uh, and like I say, they regrow pretty fast. These two might be... Well, no, if these look fine together, then these will look fine together. So that's perfect. Um, okay, not bad, not bad. I think I'm going to store these hides for right now. I'll just throw uh, hides in here. And leather and stuff like that. I left a bunch back on the ship, which is fine. I think these are all the unique hides. I have some boar hide back on the ship. Um, a sewing kit and some other stuff that I can bring over. But I think that's going to be fine there for now. And then I'll put uh, cloth stuff over here, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, I want to save the wall for trophies. So whenever I get some hay around it, um, I'll stuff a bunch of trophies and put them on the walls up here. We might go hunting for a bear later on, um, a polar bear as well, so that I can put them up on the walls here. Uh, so far as posters go though, I mean besides the one that we've already put up, here's the bow carpet, the Greek carpet, the Egyptian carpet, which is cool, it almost looks like a uh, peace sign, almost. And then um, the pig carpet I don't think we put up. The door carpets we didn't put up in this Egyptian carpet. So we have options for other wall hangings in here or a, a floor covering. Although on the floor I really want to put a bear hide. Kind of like we have in the cabin of the ship. Oh, I was going to look at doing something out here. I was kind of interested in putting pillars up. Okay. There we are. These guys, whoa, never mind. 
These are way larger than I thought they were going to be. I can do a two for one there. Oh, come on. It's not where you're supposed to go. Yeah. How does that look? It's not terrible. Because, yes. So we'll put that one there. This one will go there. We need one more. center and then these guys will go onto the sides oh no perfect perfect I love that alternatively oh no we can't put a corner piece in there because it's going to be a 2x2 two two and stick out this direction and it'll look all wonky so I don't think we put anything over this door uh, across the top here. I think it's fine the way that it is. Uh, but that marks this entrance, and without the door being here, I feel like it's a reasonable uh, sort of shape and opening. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Let's see. I wanted to cut this uh, up as well. Since we're down to 7, if I cut it up, it's going to make uh, 21. There we go. So instead of eating uh, whole haunches, I'll switch it down to slices and see if it still fills me up when I eat them. I think that it will. I'm pretty sure that it will. Um, so I'll test and see if that is the case. Clearly I brought some cloth and sisal agave with me so I can move those into here. I guess raw materials could go at the bottom for now. Well, that would technically include the cloth, maybe. There we go. And like I say, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, we will decorate this room some more, but I think next time I'm going to focus primarily on working on the blacksmith uh, room. So if you want to catch that episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.